Hi, here is Gaston Sorin from Germany one more time. And uh, today it's about magic and speaking. And I suppose uh, the other guys will talk a lot about um, uh, how to use a trick as a metaphor for your topic, for your talk. So I won't do that. Um, because my main point today is how to keep the people interested in what you uh, talking about and what you're saying and many people think well if I have an interesting topic then this is enough the people will listen to me but we all know this is not the truth but because think of your school time and uh, or your or uh, university time and all the teachers or professors you had and I'm pretty sure um, there, uh, there were some teachers or professors that were a little bit boring. Most of us had one or two. Right? Good. Now, <clears throat> what did they do to lose your interest? Uh, because they had very important lessons to tell to you, to, to share with you. But they were standing in front uh, of the blackboard and talking about, let's say, algebra or mathematics or geography or history, biology, chemistry, English uh, literature. Um, and you noticed right in the moment that I'm losing you. But uh, I'm really boring right in the moment, like the teachers you were thinking of, most likely. They were using the same technique as I did, do right now to lose you. And what I'm doing here is talking always in the same speed, in the same emotional level. Everything is the same. There is no changes here when I'm talking. And this is boring. Right. And it's not, and it has nothing to do with the content, because the content can be very interested in interesting, but if I do it always in the same way, then the audience will switch off their brains uh, bit by bit. So how to avoid that? Um, in order to explain that, I will use a very simple and boring action. Um, I'm scratching my ear. Right? Because if I do this, this is not very interesting. And I will try to keep your interest while I scratch my ear. And uh, you can watch now. And, uh, <laughs> and think what kind of techniques is the guy using. Right now, I'm using the, the technique to, um, to change my body positions while I'm scratching my ear, like, like here, see? Uh, so whenever I change the body position, ch change the position in the room where I scratch my ear, then I keep your interest a little bit. The reason for this is quite simple, because our ancestors uh, in, the, in, well, let's say uh, the Neanderthalers or whatever, they better looked when something was moving in the bushes, because it could have been a tiger or a rabbit, so something to eat or that, something that uh, I could have been eaten by. So in order to survive, I better look when something is moving. Good. So first technique is I change my body position and when I do this, every time I do this, I will keep your interest a little bit, right? And this, uh, so the antennas are, stay, are open and you will listen to my content. Good. Um, now, technique number two. I will do the scratching one more time and I will do it, I will try to make it big and exciting um, and uh, I promise I will lose you all the same yeah so watch me I'm using a very very hard method to scratch my ear but um, I will lose you all the time because 
The reason for this, I'm losing you right now, even if I do it in a very frenetic way, is that you can anticipate when the change will happen. Because it's happening now, and now, and now, and now, and now. So when the people are, uh, they can anticipate when the change is happening, then you lose their interest. So if I do this, no, in a very frenetic way, but now I'm changing the rhythm like this. Still cr scratching my ear. Then I keep your interest uh, a little bit more. Um, so change of body position, change of rhythm. Number three is... <laughs> ah. Oh, oh, oh. Is, is the change... Ah. Ah. <laughs> is the change of, of the emotion. Because... <laughs> Every time I change the emotion, <laughs> I will keep your interest, right? And uh, so, um, the change of the body position, the change of the rhythm, the change of the emotion. And last but not least, there is uh, the change in method. So. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm using, for example, talking is one method. Um, showing pictures uh, in, in, or uh, words is uh, another method. Uh, so there is a change. And therefore magic is a very good thing for talks because it, uh, it allows me to change the method one more time. Um, I can keep the topic if I find the right trick for my talk, and, uh, but the feel is different and I can, uh, the, the people can participate within the talk so they can select a card or choose a word or hold a piece of rope or something like that. So, so the interaction, the method here is changed as well. So magic, put him like a little spice, can uh, work um, miracles for speakers. So. I hope you had some fun with me. My name is Gaston Florin from Germany. So see you next time. Bye bye.